What's up guys? So today I wanted to do like a little vlog style and I wanna since it's Halloween, here's my little mini graveyard I made. Um I wanna show you this graveyard that is right up above my house and I've seen bouncing souls there. I've seen a lot of different things. Um like shadow people I've heard and seen them so I want to sh take you guys on a walk up to it and show you just how haunted it really is so here we go walk up to it looks super spooky so yeah this is West Virginia in the fall time I have an ND filter on right now and I don't know, does this look good? And I hope the sound is clear. I'm walking my dog, where is he? Senna right there. But we're almost to it. It's literally right up the street from here. It's raining, I wonder if I should put a bag over the camera? But we're walking, 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 so yeah. We're almost there. But yeah, this specific, there's an even better one. I'll take you guys to you later if you end up liking this vlog or if we catch anything good. There's two graveyards up here, the one we're going to, that's connected to each other. The first one we're walking to is the newest one. And the second one I'll also be taking you guys to here it is here's the cemetery gates and everything yeah it's super spooky and it's a it's a super spooky day also it's like 50 degrees it's been warmer out usually West Virginia gets cold right away like right before September like right before my birthday September 2nd it usually is super cold so I'm so we're also spoiled to like the nice weather now that's why I'm wearing a coat because it's like 52 to 55 degrees out or something but yeah this is the the graveyard it goes on hold on let me see I don't know if you guys can see up through there. Um, hold on. See through the trees right there? That's where the oldest graveyard is. And that's where some really crazy stuff has happened. And if you see down here, right down there in the corner where that green shed is, me and a friend, we were me and my friend were walking here like just trying to find stuff and we we're like poking fun because this was like when I first started getting into like the ghost hunting and all that and I turned on the ghost app and me and this girl started hearing like footsteps and it sounded like somebody was like walking around that green shed right there and it's it, it, we kept hearing it it sounded like somebody sneaking so we thought somebody called the cops on us and but i for some reason just wanted to stay because i love it when like um i'm anticipating something like i get a big adrenaline rush from things like that so even if it was like the cops or whatever i just probably would have ran but um we weren't even doing anything like this place doesn't have like really it says it has a time limit but you're the gates are always open so that means you're welcome to come in when the gates are closed you can't though but yeah this is the graveyard um this is the newest one we're in right now my grandparents are actually buried up where is it right there I don't know if you could see that little garden flag 
I don't have zoom on this, but that's my grandparents. They died at the same time. It's so weird. On the same day and everything. And um, my pap was okay. My grandma, she had dementia and we could tell she was about to go. But pap out of nowhere, I guess he died of a broken heart. And it's really sad. But yeah, they're here in this graveyard. This is the newer half. Um, oh, look at this. This is spooky. And the crazy thing is, it says faith right there, and it's got the, um, is that Mary? I don't know. My dog keeps pulling me. But, um, so yeah, there's, oh, and this is how ADD I am, but, um, to finish that story, me and my friend, I got onto the ghost app on my phone. Um, it's the one that Ghostbusters use not the ghost but uh on the travel channel um and a lot of them on youtube like the ghost paranormal people on youtube will use this app and it's really fucking creepy like we it kept saying weird things to us before we started seeing like shadows popping around the corners and stuff she couldn't see it she kept seeing my friend that was with me she kept seeing these this white mist float towards us but I couldn't see that I could tell it was real though because she would like crouch down she was like getting real freaked out um but yeah so we were down there right down there at that built at that shed standing right in front of it on the app and then you know that's when we started the, they started talking to us through the app and they started to um like pop their heads out like pure black figure there's no features or anything all i could see was just pure black and um hold on jeez going down a gravel hill trying to walk a pit bull that just wants to pull the whole time is not fun plus i'm in crocs um here's the shed closer cut of it or shot of it um, we were right in front of it, so pretty much center. So, yeah, we were right here, both standing in front of it. 3 a.m., dumbest idea ever. So I'm back here by myself with my dog <laughs> in the daytime, but it's still kind of creepy out. But yeah, they, I kept seeing right here. I kept looking around. I thought my eyes were messing with me because it looked dark just like pure black popping its face around it would stare at me that turn around and it would move real quick and then I started hearing so I went around here like this I literally came around looked and couldn't see anything so I literally I really thought it was just my eyes playing tricks on me and um, then we started hearing those footsteps that were like it sounded like they were mocking us and it sounded like they had boots on. It was really fucking weird. And um, so, and that's when Erin, my one friend, she started seeing those like white misty figure looking things that I couldn't see. It's so weird how I could have, how I was able to see the shadow people or the shadow figures, but she couldn't. And then she could see the mist and I couldn't see that. It was really strange. By the way, here's the second graveyard up there. But um, this is the older one up there. But yeah, that story. So we um, started to run because they started mocking us and we started hearing like, I started hearing my name in my ear, like whispering and like laughing. And then we heard crying. And that's when we like hauled ass up. We literally just ran through all the way up through to the, till we could reach the um, road right there and um yeah it was creepy it was creepy and when we started running it sounded like a stampede of people no joke came from all over literally all over i remember it so vivid yeah so we ran and um 
it just sounded like they were mocking us when we were running and everything she got so scared she couldn't even run anymore because like she was like shocked she was in shock I was in shock too but I didn't know what to do and she got so scared she started using like her iPhone she brought it out and she thought like the flashlight on it she was using it like a gun thinking it would scare them away but it made it worse and that's when I started cracking up there because it looked so stupid so it was crazy it was really creepy that day um, and we also I saw here in this newer graveyard I saw the bouncing souls the orbs so th that was weird because that you would think it would make you like more scared but for some reason I felt comfortable that night until I started seeing shadow people running across the gravestones there and that also happened at a place called Main's Chapel which is the most haunted place in Berkeley Springs West Virginia it's called Mange Chapel and it is really that place is evil I'll take you guys there sometime too because I still go there all the time anyway but every time I do stuff like this something bad always happens but it's only when I'm pestering the ghosts and I know I have like witchy friends and I'm kind of into the witchy stuff now so I always keep crystals on me and stuff when I do this but now we're going up to the second graveyard this is the older one it's literally right across the street so here we are this is the scariest one there's actually homeless people that will sleep and like live in here sometimes and literally lay on people's graves I don't see how they do it they have to be drunk or like high or something all right every time I try to film there's like people coming through but yeah look so this is the crazier one but up here wow look at that one it's so creepy through here but um yeah like I said do you catch my drift when I say Tim Burton like all the gravestones here are crooked this is where another thing happened it wasn't as bad as the other thing, but my friend, that girl I was talking about, Erin, we were all here, and we were actually walking on this road right here. And um, it was around this time last year or the year before, and she got, like, pinched. She got pushed down. And then we checked, because she kept complaining about her ankle, and it looked like she had a perfect circle burn mark on her ankle. But that was the only thing that actually happened here. But um, I also wanted to show you this. It's a decapitated like, what are the Cupid people called? Anyway, right here. Look at that. This is from 19, born, wait, what? Hold on. June 26, 1914, May 22nd, 1915. Wow, that's sad. That's so sad. But, um, yeah, this graveyard does have some spooky vibes to it. So, I wanted to get some pictures because I wanted to try out this camera, the lens on it. Oh, look at these grave stains over here. Sinner. See them back there? The white ones that look all like worn down. Those must be the super old ones made of lime scale or like limestone. Is that. I don't know if that's what that is or not, but um, yeah, this is a pretty creepy one. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little, it's probably going to look shaky even though I have a tripod, but my dog, he's driving me nuts right now, literally pulling me down the hill in gravel with freaking crops on. He always, that's why I have to put that uh, color on him, the one that beeps. I never shock him. Oh, look up here. This is so freaky. So, 
so these are all from like the 1800s this says born 1863 to 1946 1861 to 1936 um look at this one there we go that one's so spooky I can't even really read it. It says... Something... 1893... 13 years... Something 13... Lewis... I don't know. But yeah. That looks like something straight out of Hocus Pocus. Um... And then... There's also these ones. Pretty creepy. So creepy. I guess, I don't know what that is. Sometimes they have like, oh look, I hate seeing that where the tombstone, somebody either kicked it over or, um, something this one's pretty creepy I don't know what this one says either if you guys hear anything also because I'm starting to get some spooky vibes right now and usually that means stuff is going on and like I'm, it's some things are having trouble focusing and once that happens that's so creepy though. Look at the flowers on the grave. That's insane. I really can't read that one at all. That one has scratch marks on it. Look at that. That is insane. That is so creepy. Why? It's literally like tick marks. Like um, somebody tried to... I don't know. Almost... I don't know. That's creepy. Here's more over here. Look, it's having trouble focusing big time. Why aren't you focusing? So, this definitely is a sign that we're being followed. And I haven't noticed anything weird yet. But, I'm starting to get the heebie-jeebies in the daytime. Oh my god, look, Elton John. Not, it's not really Elton John, but... Elting? Elton John? Ooh, what's this? Look how creepy that is, too. E 1839 to 1912 blessed are the dead which die in the Lord see these old quotes oh my gosh they sound so creepy they sound so witchy um, oh I've, I did a photo shoot here because it's a cross it literally is a cross a huge cross and the last person's name is cross isn't that crazy I might, I don't know if I pasted that on Instagram yet or not. I'm trying to think which other way. Um, up through there is another decapitated thing. I feel like something just pulled my pant leg. So weird in the daytime. Creepy gravestones. Senna keeps acting like he sees stuff too. If you guys want me to do an investigation here one night, I'm definitely not coming by myself though. But um, I'll use all of my, I got the dowsing rods, the best ones you can get. I got the apps, um, I have a spirit box, so we could do some talking. Look at these things, they're like scrolls.
see. I don't know. I guess those are like flowers, like lilies and stuff. Something just pulled on my leg again. But, um, see, it's having trouble focusing. That's a huge one. Starting to feel lightheaded. But, um, yeah, so this is my weird little West Virginia. Okay, something's following. They're mocking my footsteps. Can you guys hear? I hope you can hear that. It doesn't freak me out anymore though because when you let them scare you, that's when they attach to you. I am not scared by them. And I know one thing, they have they don't have permission to follow me home. That's one thing you gotta let them know. Anytime you're doing stuff like this, you gotta tell them there's you have no permission to follow me home. Oh look, here's a uh um a Freemason. It's got the Freemason symbol. And all that craziness. Why is it? It's really having problems focusing. Oh my god. Look at this one. It's got a pinnacle. What does that mean? Does anybody know? Because I know the upside down star usually isn't good because that's like it symbols it symbolizes the goat head. Which it might be these all look like Freemasons. Like, that one has it also. Different symbols though. US veteran. So yeah. Um, look! What are all these crazy symbols? This one's 1842 to 1930. Here's another upside down star. Margaret Coughlin, 1846, 1926. Freemason. Look, all of these are all Freemasons. What does that mean? And they always have like, look, this looks like an actual pentagram. Minus the circle, I mean, it's a pinnacle. And then look how wild that is. Yeah, this is some crazy stuff over here. Is that like a little tiny baby one? It is, what? Why, how is that possible? Look how little that is, like, compared to my hand. My hand almost looks as big as it. Anyway, and then, so right over here is, this must be like someone important, or these people, cause look, this is all walled in, like, This is really having trouble focusing right now. Why is there just one person in this little fenced-in area? It says AJ Marble. Is that focusing? Born March 2nd, 1841 to November 17th, 1895. Wow. You can always tell the ones that are different, like the oldest ones, because they're always white. Super creepy. And then... These ones, for some reason, always really give me the heebie-jeebies. Look at them. Yeah, it's really spooky. Look how crooked all these are. Come on. I'm really hoping this stuff isn't, like, gonna be super out of focus. But, um, hold on, I gotta flip the screen back up so I can see myself. But yeah, so that was my little ex graveyard excursion for Halloween for you guys. So if you like this kind of stuff, am I out of focus? Whoa. Hold on. Why am I out of focus? My face is like right here. Am I still out of focus, guys? Can you guys see anything behind me? Uh, obviously, something's following. There we go, I had to tap the screen. But, it's got face detection on it, so it always focuses in on my eyes. Like, what the hell is going on here? I keep hearing things now. I just thought I heard, like, crying. Or laughing. Senna, he's acting normal again there, but 
who knows, who knows. Am I still in focus, you guys? Something weird is going on. Now my camera's like crooked too. Hold on. There we go. But, um, yeah. So, I think that's my cue to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that was a yard decoration. Oh my gosh. Since it's Halloween, there's like, everybody's got like crazy things out right now. And it just freaked me out. Look how white these ones are. You can tell those are from the 1800s. Okay, I'm hearing stuff. Did you guys hear that? So, I tried taking a picture. Senna keeps pointing and acting really weird now. So, and I just got weird vibes, so I'm gonna leave. But look how pretty the trees and stuff are. It's beautiful. Literally looks like a postcard, like a Halloween postcard or something. So, now I gotta walk up all of that. I don't know if it's even in focus. That hill over there. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> me and Cinnabon. So, we got to like a little, I guess it's a mausoleum or what is that called? I totally forget what that's called. But yeah. Really spooky. <laughs> So yeah, that's that. I gotta walk up this hill now and probably crash because that was a freaking hike. And I feel like I've already been to the gym. My freaking legs are gonna be hurting and this heavy ass camera and heavy ass lens. Whew. But all right guys, I um, my next video is going to be my Living Dead Dolls collection and my trip NYC and all my crazy pants collection. I just wanna show you guys a try on haul. But if you like the ghost videos, I'll do those a lot more too. So just let me know in the comments down below and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye boys and ghouls.